class's uh, name is uh, Aerodynamics for Engineers, and it's fairly descriptive. It's a, a basic course in aerodynamics, and so again, we find many uh, practitioners in the engineering field who are well versed in their own discipline, uh, but oftentimes need some uh, coaching, some mentoring in basic aerodynamics. So what we do in the class is cover the gamut, uh, basically from from hyposonic, low speed stuff to hypersonic velocities. We consider flight of aircraft mostly, uh, but also of missiles and rockets. And we give people the fundamental principles from incompressible flow to compressible flow. Uh, we talk about supersonic aerodynamics, a little bit about hypersonic aerodynamics. We even go into the fields of uh, atmospheric entry and air breathing propulsion. And so we try to give everybody a, a real good broad brush of basic aerodynamics. And so when a person leaves that class, they should and will have the confidence that they have more than just an acquaintance with a uh, topic that's very complex. Uh, let's say that you're uh, an engineer that's not in the uh, aerodynamics area, but you uh, need some basic coaching there. Uh, you should be able to walk away with understanding what causes an aircraft to fly, what produces lift, uh, why wings are shaped the way that they are. Uh, you should also understand the difference between low speed flows uh, which are called incompressible flows or subsonic flows, transonic flows where we have a mixture of supersonic and subsonic, and then the things that are the earmarks of supersonic flight, uh, compressibility, shock waves, expansion waves. And then how does that affect not only the design of the aircraft or design of the vehicle, but also the performance of the vehicle. And so we should have uh, at least some first order tools and a first order understanding of how that interplays in the design process. I think a manager would be uh, very uh, interested in making sure their people come back with a working knowledge, a fundamental knowledge of aerodynamics. He will not make them an expert, but he will get them well versed to start to assimilate more complex topics and start to see the interplay in what today is a multidisciplinary process for designing aircraft, flight vehicles of all sorts and uh, a person should be able to start to speak intelligently and to think more deeply about how what they're doing, if they're a mechanical engineer, if they're a designer, if they're a software person, if they happen to be a, a stress or structures person, they should be able to see how their part plays in that better by having an appreciation and a good working knowledge of aerodynamics. People that uh, take these classes work on all uh, manner of uh, current day projects. Uh, certainly things like uh, some of the X vehicles that we're now trying to fly, the X-51, uh, the HDV-2, certainly people who come who come from NASA and from the Air Force who work on the shuttle still. Uh, many things that are very topical, some ideas, people that work for, um, for DARPA, some of the ideas that come from DARPA which are always uh, uh, at leading edge and uh, very challenging. They go on to work in very uh, challenging areas, very, very rewarding areas and find themselves to be more effective for having taken the course.